so many small children in this area that uh, she couldn't uh, really bring herself to talk to us when I asked her about uh, the Lanzas and their connection. So uh, we, we, we don't have any information just yet from here about any connection to the school. All right, Mary, uh, we're going to check back with you. Mary Snow is uh, not far away from the suspect's home in Newtown, Connecticut. Ryan Lanza, in his 20s, he died at the scene in Newtown, Connecticut. Ron, Ronald, hold on for a moment. John King is getting more information for us. What are you learning, John? Well, if I want to pass on some information, this is from a second federal law enforcement source I spoke to here in Washington, D.C. They are getting information from FBI officials on the scene, other federal and state authorities on the scene. Uh, this, this source is going on to say that information from the scene is the shooter you've been talking about with other reporters was born in 1988. They believe he's 24 years old. Again, that is information from the scene. Could change, but the uh, federal official I talked to said they believe that is reliable information and that the shooter who is dead at the scene is, quote, not a stranger to the school, not a stranger to the school, this official said. He also said the shootings, quote, happened relatively quickly and in the same concentrated area of the school. He was not running the halls, meaning not running the halls, uh, firing the weapon. So the source, again, I want to reiterate, saying happened relatively quickly and in the same concentrated area of the school. And again, this source said... Just after 9.30 this morning, Newtown Police received a 911 call for an emergency at the elementary school. You guys are starting to see your school. The front glass has been broken in front of the school. They're unsure why. I don't hear it. The individual that I have on the phone is continuing to hear what he believes to be the car. Uh, it's uh, last known gunshot from the front of the building. Uh, we have one now in room one who has received a shot wound to the foot. On the other injury that... Okay, did you get into the pool? I got now. Bodies here, but uh, can you have one to be advised? He should have multiple weapons, including long rifles and shotguns. These are mini buses here. ASAP, call the Amber if you have they did walk a guy out of the woods. I saw him walk a guy out earlier with handcuffs. He walked by us and said he didn't do it. It was a grown man, a grown man. Yeah, he's sitting in the front of the police car over there now. So, I mean, he didn't have a gun? No, I didn't see any gun. Just had him handcuffed, and he walked by us and looked into parents' eyes and said I didn't do it. How was he dressed? Uh, camo pants with a dark jacket. And we ran down to the firehouse. There's a man pinned down to the ground with handcuffs on, and we thought that was the uh, victim. We really didn't get a good glance at him because he was like there's a car blocking it. Plus, we were running really quick.
very many details at all. They haven't even officially named the gunman, although they have confirmed that there was one gunman. Uh, what we understand from unofficial reports and also from local reports is that he was a 20-year-old man um, who was the son of a teacher at the school and that uh, he, most of the shooting took place uh, in the kindergarten class that his teacher, that his, that his mother was teaching. You, you, you know the school because you've been cutting the children's hair there. Just describe the describe the security perhaps not as stringent as it would be in a high school but but what sort of what sort of restrictions were put up put on people just wandering into that school well that school i mean you have that, that was another thing that i wasn't sure of and you know i heard things that they let him in because you have to they have to buzz you in to the school so i was assuming that somebody knew who he was because I heard that he was buzzed into the school because the school is locked. You can't just get into the school. And what the sort of what's, what's the area? I heard that he was going from, you know, room to room and trying to get in. And I, I had heard that one specific kindergarten class that they were all, um, they couldn't confirm something happened to the whole, one whole class. Can you tell us so far? Okay, as you mentioned, there are some reports of who the suspect was uh, circulating, and everyone is, is trying to look into those as well. We've also heard some reports that his parents live in the town of Newtown and that he had gone to the house, their house, prior to going to the school. So we're looking into that. We have a crew up in the scene right now. Um, but it, it's a very difficult situation because the state police, the governor's office, they aren't releasing a lot of the information at this point, so everyone's trying to see what they can find out from other sources, other people in the town, and just, um, it's, it's just a, an un unbelievable situation. In terms of what we do know, we know that uh, a man managed to get into the school. It seems he was known to uh, school staff and started shooting at about half past nine this morning. Is that correct? I'm having a, a difficult time understanding you. You keep breaking up, so I'm only catching about half of what you're, what you're saying to me. Could you repeat that? Of course. Uh, as far as what we know, the suspect is a 20-year-old man who got into the school, who was buzzed into the school because it appears he was known to school staff and started shooting at about half past nine this morning. From what I heard that you said is that yes, that he was known to the school and that he was buzzed in and apparently has some connection obviously to the town, to the school, um, and that is obviously how he got in. A lot of our local school As a man called Ryan Lanza, that is all we know at the moment. The American Network certainly circulating that name and he is the suspect that local media in the United States have mentioned. Let's get more on this and latest developments and talk to Mark Hurt, who's a reporter from the local radio station WHSU. Uh, Mark Hurt, uh, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening, UK time. Uh, we have just mentioned that name, Ryan Lanza. What now, uh, more do you know about him? Well, actually, you know, it, it, as you can imagine, it's so chaotic here. Uh, we, we're just hearing it as you're hearing it. We have no further information. I mean, we heard that, uh, that New Jersey authorities, which is a state nearby us in the northeast of the country here, are searching a location in that state in the connection with the shootings. We're, we're waiting to hear why that is. You know, we, the, the details are, are uh, they come trickling in and, and they come quickly. So I, I don't have anything to add about this, this, the name of this man or, or his background at this point. Well, I did 
Yeah. Mark, let me try to cut across you. Maybe I can uh, give you some information. We are just getting in um, from the AFP agency who are just reporting that he is 24 years of age, Ryan Lanza. They are reporting, this is AFP, that he also killed his parents. That's according to US media. Uh, apparently, the reports say that Lanza...